And good morning, good evening, good afternoon, folks. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Blessings to Baltimore. A cargo ship crashed into a bridge going over a body of water. I'm not sure. It's, you know, a bridge that they drive on and tore the sucker down this morning. So <clears throat> let's pray for the safety of everyone involved and, you know, that they can get this repaired and get it back going as soon as possible. Shout out to Be More. But y'all, let me talk to y'all a minute. For real. Come here. Now, I am not one to gossip at all. You know, I might do a little, you know, news and information, a little celeb stuff. But baby, have you heard about Sean P. Diddy Puffy Combs, baby? First and foremost, if you've been around, you have heard the whispers about him for a long time. What happened was it last year around this time or so, his ex virtually had to escape him escaped it. Her name is Cassie. And, you know, there was an ability that if you had had any, uh, you know, cases against someone's sexual abuse cases, I'll put it like that, that you were able to go in and put in for uh, a civil suit where you would win money. And so she had tapes and videos, the things he had her do. I'm not even, I can't even get into it on this program but he had her doing something else not only that she had a chip he had a long time girlfriend wife i'll put it like that her name is kim porter rest her soul she passed away and cassie this girlfriend had the chip out the phone baby well they went to sue diddy and that's when things started to tumble for him because he paid her out, okay? He paid a settlement. However, her attorneys took all the information that she had from his behavior towards men and women uh, sexually assaulting these men and women, allegedly, allegedly, and took it to the feds. Mm -hmm. And yesterday, baby, if you don't know, now you know, uh, the... Homeland Security, having looked into things, went and they raided his home in Miami, <clears throat> excuse me, and his home in L.A., baby. The home in L.A. had two of his sons, um, uh, Justin and King, two of his sons. One of them belongs to the woman that he'd been with, the wifey, girlfriend, person who the chip was from she had pneumonia and passed away although people suspect that there's sketchy circumstances around that i know this is a lot of tea i'm sharing with you but i'm sharing it with y'all i wanted to take a look at this fool and see what was going on he wasn't there they brought his two of his sons he's got two young female twins by kim porter the one who has deceased and at least one son with him and that would be king and then he's got another son. I can't think of the other lady's name, but Camille will put it in the video. And then he helped raise Al B. Shore's son, Quincy. Okay. Quincy wasn't in it. So the night before, Diddy is at a party and he's being filmed by this guy that films celebrities in general. And he's just sitting there like a statue. He's not talking to anyone. He's got a cocktail in his hand. He's, there's nobody around him. His leg is shaking, you know, that nervous shaking, like he's been tipped off that something is going on because he wasn't at either of the homes. He get on a jet. He flew to Miami. He was out pacing inside of the, outside of the Miami airport. Um, I think he's trying to do do what R. Kelly did and trying to get away, I guess. But I'm telling you something, the first card that came up with him was a, was the devil card. The devil card is Capricorn, a Sagittarius energy. When you put the Capricorn, the, excuse me, the devil card into, say, a work environment, that kind of shows you your methods of moving, okay? You can be bright, you can be cunning and all of that, but you're going to work from the ground up. And then Saturn's going to bless you once you do that. 
when it comes to materialism in the world, it shows a deviant or deviant behavior as it comes to sexuality. Excuse me, care juice. It's only mine. No one else drinks off of it. First card popped up for him. That is the devil card. And this right here, this tells you everything you need to know about him. So, Sean P. Diddy Combs, he would take everyone's masters. He would have them recording and writing. He wouldn't pay his artist. He had the Bad Boy Records years ago, and he started it up again. He wouldn't pay his artist. One artist, and some of y'all are going to know who I'm talking about, and Mace, M-A-S-C, Mace was the artist of him. Mace told you everything about him. Uh, yeah, there's several people that told you and nobody was listening. Now there is not only this, they did the raid yesterday, but they also, there was a, a young man that, uh, about three months ago, four months ago, he was essayed by him too. Um, a lot of graphic things going on. I'm going to tell you something though. Point blank and simple. Hollywood, Hollywood is crashing down on itself. Are you looking at? A lot of people, the Nickelodeon people, and then they've got a part, there's part four parts. Now there's going to be a fifth part of someone else coming out from this world of childhood actors and actresses that are going to talk. I just saw a tape this morning where a young man and young lady, I remember her, Nicole Egger, she paid on Charles in Charge. That was the name of the show with um, Scott Bale as the nanny, the, the college student that was their babysitter. Nicole Eggert, she also went on to Baywatch, by the way. But anyways, they spoke on, allegedly, because this has not been, you know, a document. This is them coming forward with their story that Scott Bayo was doing some inappropriate things. Diddy wants to get away. I'm going to tell you right now. Diddy wants to go to, like, some island or something like that. I think he wants to go to Bali. Uh, uh, who was in Bali? Uh, remember Run DMC? His older brother was accused of some things, and so now he's in Bali because Bali has no extraditions. Except, not going to work out for him. No, it is not working out for Diddy. Diddy's got judgment on him. Diddy going to find himself in the same place as R. Kelly, up in those prisons, okay? For real, for real. So, um, let me just talk about this. So, as I was saying, with not only Diddy, which is, it's not just, if you if you know, you know. This is not surprising. This is a confirmation. This is a long time coming. He's been a thief and, uh, you know, he's been a dirty Scorpio. I'm just going to tell you that right now. Revenge, always after people. Some people even think that he set up Biggie back in the day for that, that uh, when he got off in this world, he got left this world, that that had to do with Diddy setting it up. Um... There's a lot of that speculation going on. But it's Hollywood in, in general. Now, yesterday, uh, I told you it was a full moon in Libra. Libra's uh, north node and, and, I mean, south node, Aries north node, has got things in a tizzy. And that was yesterday on the exact same day. This world is changing in big ways. Those people that have gotten away for years and years and years, messing over people left and right, being power hungry and money hungry and all of that, um, you're going down. If you've been making a mint off of people like P. Diddy has and not paying your artists, but yet you flying in your private jet and you got champagne and, and Ciroc vodka and all that stuff galore, it's time for you to go. Indeed. Yeah, and I'm telling you something. So, Scorpio energy, uh, I just know his son that doesn't make all of him, but that's a big part of him. He's really in his feels. He has no right to be, really. Um, him, allegedly his mother, they all been tied up in a lot of a lot of mess, money mess, okay, and, and other things. And so he's in his feels. He's like, everyone's against me and all of that. It's a very immature energy. It's a it's a knight of cups. That's a younger person, but Diddy is uh, almost our age at this point. You know, he's up in his fifties. Um, 
Yeah. See, the thing is that he can't avoid temptation. He can't. Uh, he can't stop wanting. It's not. It's not sexuality. It's not intimacy. He does. It's not that that he wants. It's power. If I can make a man do something, it's power. In fact, here's a story for you. There was an artist, a uh, female. No, 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 no. Administrative assistant. She went to run an error from, for errand from him. She comes back and she opens the door into the office. And Diddy is sitting up in a chair. This is in New York. And uh, Christopher Williams, you remember Christopher Williams, the singer back in the 90s, uh, New Jack City, he was in that. Christopher Williams was performing something personal to Diddy. So he could get on to Bad Boy. He did get on Bad Boy. So later on, this assistant who had to pretend like she didn't see anything, she didn't say anything. You know, she it wasn't her business. She just worked there. And she knew how unscrupulous he was. So Diddy told her, oh, you think I'm, I'm homosexual? Da, da, da. He said, I'm not. He said, if I can get uh, inward to do something like that, I got the power over him and everything else. Yeah. Karma is coming back to Hollywood. Hollywood has been wicked forever. It is not new. I'm talking way back to Fatty Arbuckle and the way they treated Dorothy Dandridge, Lena Horne, Marilyn Monroe. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. And so many people had to closet who they, they were. Uh, James Dean, that's who's behind me, or Montgomery Cliff, Rock Hudson. If you saw that Rock Hudson... Uh, documentary. It was very sad in that way. They had to pretend to be other people, even Liberace, so that they could make a dollar to live. You know, Hollywood has been wicked. Uh, look at Weinstein. Many, many. That was the that was the most open secret ever. That's why at the award shows they could make those snide jokes and stuff about it because everybody knew. Everybody knew, but nobody was going to say anything. And you've got other directors and actors and so forth. He's not the only one that have done things that have been very inhumane to people that just want to make their dreams come true. Is this the price you have to pay? Hollywood is coming down. The, the dragon that Jennifer Lopez is getting is unbelievable. And I'm going to tell you, you know, I felt kind of bad for her, all of that. However, she did a TikTok Right, her response and the shadow cross. I don't give a f about y'all. Mm -hmm. Tell you everything you need to know. Tell you everything you need to know. We as a, as a as a country have bigger fish to fry. We have bigger things to think about. We have an election season coming up. We've got two very senior people who are running against each other, and we're torn about all of that. We've got trying to make sure our gas is filled and we got groceries. We don't have time for the BS. And now they're realizing that this this um, celebrity worship mess is wrapping up quick, fast, in a hurry. Even the Kardashians, people are calling it the fall of the Kardashians. People aren't buying their stuff. They don't have the money that they used to have. They can't hold on to any relationship. They baby mamas. They doing the most. People don't care. We don't care how much stuff you get shot up in your face or how long your eyelashes or how skin tight you are in an outfit. Nobody cares about any of that. We, in this day and age, we want people to be authentic. Be yourself, child. Be yourself. They don't know how to do that. They don't know how. They've been forced to be in this. And I won't even say forced. Diddy's crew, those people were forced to do things that were something else these other people this is a choice you chose this life and you chose to push it too far and i'm going to tell you something there'll be more falls coming along there'll be more people falling some of you watch out for some of your your greatest and your faves you're going to find out who they really are because they were that person anyways just because i make a movie doesn't make me a better person at all okay diddy diddy's going down Diddy was um, in Miami the last time they saw him. He's trying to get away to an island 
uh, like an island place for, for safety. Uh, he's not going to make it, though, because judgment and law has caught up with him too fast. So that's not going to happen. He's going to have to come back and face whatever charges he tried to avoid when Cassie tried to sue him for S.A. a couple of years ago. Maybe not even two, maybe a year ago. Anyways, y'all, y'all gossip too much. <laughs> Anyways, I'm playing. Y'all have a good day and pray for Baltimore.